Now, Dennis Prager, in his article, The Decline of Christianity, I don't think you've got to be a rocket scientist to figure this one out, that Christianity is in decline. But this is a fascinating article, The Decline of Christianity. He says, on the front of one of the oldest and most beautiful churches in the country, the Church of the Covenant in Boston, hangs a large banner which is written, get this, on this large banner, represented by a church, and God said, protect abortion access for all. Next one, ensure black lives matter. Defend LGBTQ rights. For those who don't know what that stands for, that stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, and queers. Okay? In voter suppression. Turn guns into plows. Abandon fossil fuel. Protect sanctuary. Abolish prisons. Disarm hate. Speak truth. Breathe. In other words, love. That's enough to make you want to puke to think that that is written on the banner of a church. A church that is supposed to be carrying God's name. Oh, yeah. So you see why this article was called The Decline of Christianity. Because to have these convictions, you have to be either one stupid or totally ignorant of what the Bible teaches and totally ignorant of the will of God. Okay. All right, let's go through some of these on this banner, on this church. Big Christian church, okay? Protect abortion, abortion access for all. Protect abortion access for all. Is it God's will to use abortion as a method of birth control? You know, I told you that story about the affluent family. Husband and wife had a lot of money. You know, had already had three children and one on the way. But they had planned a skiing trip to the Swiss Alps. And the wife, instead of, they didn't want to cancel the skiing trip, so they aborted the little potential life, the little baby that was in her womb. She had an abortion. So she could keep her skiing trip to the Swiss Alps. Now, I'm asking you the question, is it God's will to use abortion as a method of birth control? And I got to thinking about why the outrage since they passed, Supreme Court passed this law, you know, that uh, Roe versus Wade, that was, once that was changed around. Because, I mean, the truth is, you can still get an abortion. There, it's based on the individual states now, the morality of each state. Now, there may be a few states that have banned abortion, but for the most part, you can still get an abortion. But I got to thinking the, the reason, I like to get in people's minds, you know, and think, now what's the reason for the outrage? Why are so many people outraged about, well, I can't get my abortion, you know? Here it is. You see, government is their God. For a lot of people, government is their God. And when Roe versus Wade was passed, anyone could get an abortion anytime, anywhere, for any reason. And their conscience didn't bother them because big government, their God, small letter G, approved of it. Are you with me? And now... Their God, small letter G, big government, has disapproved. And these people's consciousness is just eating away at them. They are outraged. Absolutely outraged. What does the Bible say about abortion? Well, it's found in Exodus 20 and verse 13. Thou shall not kill. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. I mean, that's what the Bible says. Okay. All right, next one. And God said, ensure black lives matter. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.